hello guys welcome to another exciting day welcome to my channel welcome to yj digital world i remain your regular host agu joseph on today's video tutorial i'll be guiding you through on how to create a spot poster like the one i have on my screen okay in doing this i'll be making use of photoshop 2020 please if you are new to my channel welcome do it to subscribe turn on the post notification to get notification whenever i upload new content and please don't forget to give this video a like please do well to give this video a like and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for always tuning in okay so let's dive into it so first thing first we have to click on the create uh, option on the photoshop dashboard so after clicking on the create new the new document uh, uh, panels comes up so we'll be calling this spot poster So the unit of measurement is in inches, 4 of width and 5 of height. Resolution remains on 300, color mode remains on RGB. So hit on create. So here we have our Canva workspace in which this design will be carried out on. So one of the first things we'll be working uh, will have to do with our background precisely. So here I'll type in the name of the athlete precisely. So. I'll be typing in the name of the athlet. Hit Ctrl T. So you scale up the size of the text. Scale it up. Check. After checking, select the first. Select the first text and actually increase the size so that it will be of the same size with the other text beneath it. So after doing that, so come to where here where I have my rectangle to here. I'll create a shape of this nature. Okay. Maintaining the same color. Here is the color code for the color I'm using. Here is the hex code for the color I'm using precisely. I'm maintaining the same color. So I also come make a duplicate of of the rectangle by hitting Ctrl J. Okay, hit Ctrl T to transform and adjust the position this way. I think this is good. Select the two layers, left click on the first one, hold shift, left click on the second one. Hit Ctrl J, Ctrl T, then you drag beneath this way. So after doing that, we have to come to where we have our text on our text on our layer panel we'll right click on it and convert it to a smart object precisely i'm converting it to a smart object so that i can be able to transform the uh, the text to a shape i need precisely so after doing this i'll come over here hit ctrl t right click and flip that is rotate 90 degree counterclockwise okay after doing that right click again click on perspective precisely okay you narrow it this way okay after doing that drag your text align it make sure it's aligned to the middle okay so after doing that hit ctrl minus left click and drag from the width this way okay and still adjust the position Okay, after adjusting the position this way, you can click on the tick button, hit Ctrl T. Okay, after hitting Ctrl T, you hold Shift to left click and drag down this way. I think this is actually looking nice. Okay, so after doing this, so select the whole set of uh, layers together and group them, hitting Ctrl G on your keyboard to group them. I'll call this uh background 
I'll call this text flat text precisely. Okay, so after doing that, I'll move to the next phase of this background process. Pick my rectangle tool over here and left click and drag this way. Okay, after doing that, I want to make a rectangle same as this, okay, but on the vertical axis of this red background. So I'll come here, pick the rectangle tool here, select the flat group precisely, and create a rectangle of this size. Okay, so I'll change the color to white. Make sure it's, you drag it above the red rectangle. Okay, use your move tool to adjust its position. Hit Ctrl J to make a duplicate and adjust the position as well. I think it's looking nice this way. So I'll select the two layers. Okay, hit Ctrl J to make a duplicate and drag it to somewhere around here. I think this is actually looking nice. So, this is looking nice. This is looking nice. So after doing that, we'll move to the next phase of the project, okay? But before doing that, let me select this set of uh, group. Select them together and group them. I'll call them red background that is red bg for my background so after doing that we we'll have to add some resources from our exercise file here so i'll drag in this first into my photoshop canva workspace okay hold alt to scale from the middle okay so after doing this we we'll have to change the blending mode to a blending mode that will work perfectly with our project which is uh, we'll be using divide okay after uh, selecting divide we we'll also reduce the opacity to about 35 okay you can see how it looks on the project so we'll come to our filter here all the way to blur gallery no all the way to blur then to motion blur so we we'll set our blur distance to about 16 precisely you can see the effect on our project okay this is before and this is after you can see the effect on our project before and after so after doing that I will go back to my exercise file to drag in the next set of resources I'll be using, which is this, and place it over here. Okay, right click and rotate it 90 degree clockwise. Hold Alt, left click, and scale out. Okay, so click on the check. After doing that, you change, make sure you change the blending. So after doing that, change the blending mode to soft light so that the texture can blend together. So after changing it to soft light, we reduce the opacity to about 26. I don't need it to be too strong on this project. Okay, you can see how it's looking on the project before and after. So after doing that, we we'll move to the next phase of this design project by adding texture. Okay, so I'll we'll come to my adjustment panel here. Click on patterns. Okay, here is the pattern I will be using for this, and I set it as this. So, you, in the link description for the exercise file, I will attach the link to for the pattern precisely. 
okay i'll set mine on 100 click on ok change the blending to overlay okay i think this is actually looking nice so after doing this let me select the group and group them together by grouping i'm trying to make my layer uh, my layer panel looks more neat and organized so i'll call this texture i don't need my layer panel to be too busy so i'm trying to group them so that it will look more neat and organized so after doing this come to my exercise file and drag in the player's image into my photoshop and position it somewhere here okay so first thing first let me work on the first image i think should be this precisely so this is the first image of my player so all i have to do is to make a duplicate of my player by hitting ctrl j slide over to filter all the way to others and slide over to high pass i'm trying to create a texture effect on my model okay that is on the player so after adjusting the radius to about this come over here change the blending mode to hard light so after changing this to hard light or come to make sure you right click and clip max it please clip max it okay so come to your adjustments all the way to your curves click on the clip max okay i need the effect to be only on the model on my player then adjust this i think this is actually looking nice So I don't need much. So I'll come here, select the layer for the player and group it. Okay. Call it player one. Control T. Adjust it and position it where I need the image to, to be on my project. I think this is where I need it to be. So I'll scale down the size and place it somewhere around here so after doing that we'll come to the next image here okay place it around here so i'll make a duplicate i'm also replicating the same steps i did earlier i'm also replicating the same step for this other set of images so from here i'll be skipping this part for the remaining two images so after applying the curve adjustment layers by adjusting the highlight and the shadows on the player one group as well as uh, the high pass on the player one group as well remember i said that i will be fast forwarding so i noticed that in this other set of uh, players i noticed that the saturations is higher unlike the one in the player one so i'll come to here where i have my player two okay under the group i've already applied the same effect i have over there in player one so i'll come here and adjust the saturation by clicking on saturation click on clip max adjust the saturation so that it will also suit the same saturation as that of your player i think this is good enough this like this as well so after doing that here you notice that it is affecting the whole project okay so but i don't need it to to affect the whole project if you can see it's affecting the shirts of the player that is the red tones so i don't need the desaturated effect on the red tones so 
all I have to do is to enable this and and pick my brush precisely right click and check select the soft round brush set your opacity and flows to 100 precisely make sure your foreground color is set on black so that you'll be able to brush on this uh, on this part of the red shirt okay so take note our max layer is white so for you to brush on the white max layer make sure your brush is on black precisely so i'll come over here and start brushing to take out those desaturated effects on my on my red tones you can see you can see the effect as well as this i can come over here take out those effects on anywhere i have red i need the red to stand out to come to life so after doing that i'll close this group enable this back you can see so i'm trying to create balance okay so i come over to the next image here where i have the player tree i notice the same issues here so i also adjust the saturation for this come to my adjustment slide over to hues clip max and adjust the saturation i just needed to adjust the saturation a little bit so you can see it's also affecting the shape of our player so we'll come over here again select the max make sure your foreground color is still on black opacity and flow are set on 100 then you take out the effect from the shirt precisely gently be careful so that you not take away some of the ones in the arm region so So you be very careful. Let me hide the player one. So I'll take out the red tones, the desaturated effect from this side. Okay. So after doing that, we we'll enable other groups okay control zero to fit to screen so this is player tree you can see so here i'll select the player tree right click and that is select it hit control t to transform right click and flip horizontally and position it somewhere around here precisely okay so i'll check over here so after doing that i noticed that uh, my player is getting into this fl uh, flat text so all I have to do is to make sure I select these two called the rectangular marquee tool make sure the group is selected okay so I'll come this way and make a selection of this and then to uh, the border of this white okay so I notice that if I make this selection and I apply the vector max it will crop out some part of his arm so in order for me to avoid this I have to this deselect ctrl T to transform this and adjust the size then position it up a little okay I think this is actually looking better this way so come to where I have this and hit ctrl T pick the rectangular marquee tool and make the selection after making the selection then click on the max you notice that the player uh, disappears and your you have your max layer this way so you hit ctrl i to invert the max precisely okay that's for that so i think we are good to go with this so here we have everything we needed for this project so after taking out some of the part of the player image, so you come over here where you have your logos, you drag them into your Photoshop and place them where you need them to be. Okay. So I'll scale this down. 
and place it somewhere around here. Okay, this as well, I'll scale it down. Check, pick my move tool and position it where I needed it to be. Control T. So I'll place it somewhere around here. I think this is actually looking nice. Control T to transform and scale down the size of this. So for this, I'll double click and change the color. My layer size comes up, change the color value to white precisely. So I have this. Okay, that's for this. So in the final phase of this project, I want to make a little adjustment to the whole project. So for me to do this, I'll come to my adjustment panel here, all the way to color lookups. Okay, so here you can just play around the color lookups and see the one that works perfectly well for you. You can see this works perfectly well. So you just play around and see the one that works perfectly well for you precisely so i'll be making use of this precisely scale down the opacity to about 45 okay i think this is actually looking nice so ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of today's video tutorial please if you have any question please do well to leave your questions your comments in the comment section if you enjoyed this video do well to give this video a like if you have any comment, you can leave your comment in the comment section, please. Don't forget to give this video a like. Give this video a like, please. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the post notification to get notification whenever I post new content. And you can also follow me on my socials at YG Digital World. Whenever you post any content with the help of my tutorial, do it to tag me on your socials. Okay? Please don't forget to give this video a like. So thank you guys for watching.